Ladies and gentlemen, Charles here. Just chilling out on a Sunday, trying to finish up these questions from this young man in Nish who asked me a trillion questions. Brate moi, you gotta quit asking so many questions. People get sick of these 10, 12, 15 minute videos, you know? They always say like on, on YouTube, like you lose people's attention after like two minutes or something. It's catastrophe. So I'm sure I lose you in two minutes and I continue to blabber for, four, for, for eight more minutes usually. Okay, here we go. These are just random questions here. I've looked at a few of them here, but I didn't study them in great detail. Here we go. Let me get going. Question number one, random question. What country do you hate the most? The country I hate the most is Israel. It's the United States' number one ally, and I think it is a country governed by pure evil. And I just don't like it at all. It's the country that I dislike more than anybody. Question two, who will you vote for, Hillary Clinton or Trump? I like how you put Trump. I will not vote for either candidate. I think both candidates should be, shouldn't be allowed to run. I think they're both absolute fucking kakose kaje. I don't even know how to explain it. I think they're both just an absolute disgrace to my country. Hillary Clinton is a corrupt criminal who violated many, many laws. She conspired with the DNC to destroy Bernie Sanders' campaign. Uh, I think she's a terrible woman, a tough woman, a conniving woman, and so I will not vote for her. Donald Trump, I can't even, there's words don't even express what I think of Donald Trump. I think he's just a, a sick, vile, disgusting human being who makes fun of people with handicap, uh, people with disabilities, who makes fun of minority groups, who tries to ban people from the United States because of their religious views, who says all this shit about Syrian refugees. I think he's just a dog. I think he's a scumbag worm. I will not vote for either of those candidates. I think it's the sickest, most disgusting time in our history, and one of those two is going to be the leader of my country. And people, when I travel around the world, that's what's scary for me. When I travel around the world, people look at me for that. I remember when George Bush was president, and I went to Australia, and people were like, oh, God, George But You're judged for your leader, and I don't want either of them at the helm. Uh, so I'm voting for Jill Stein. Jill Stein is a Green Party candidate. They have absolutely zero chance. But this is out of just because I think it's the right thing to do. I think people need to stop voting for the Democratic Party and the Republican Party and open their eyes to different options. Both Republican Party and Democratic Party try to keep down these other political parties. Uh, they don't allow them the debates and anything. It's absolute bullshit is what it is. So I'm voting for the Green Party. I was a big Bernie Sanders supporter, but Bernie Sanders is no longer there. He caved in and supported Hillary Clinton, unfortunately. So Jill Stein of the Green Party has my vote. Question three. Will you stay in Serbia forever? Will I stay in Serbia forever? Buddy, that's such a question. You know, I was just speaking with my best buddy, Darko Stojilkovic, about how I felt about like where I wanted to be. How I don't even know where I fit in. I don't know where I want to be. I don't know what I want to do. I'm almost 40. Uh, here on November 7th is my birthday. I'm going to be 40. And I, I, you know, I t told him, I said, man, you know, I just don't know. I'm a guy that just, I feel, I wake up sometimes, it's like, where am I supposed to be? What am I supposed to do? I can't have a relationship uh, here because I just don't know where I want to be. Serbia will always be a huge part of my life, and I love it here currently. But when I think of the future, I just don't know. I know I will not live in the United States. I'm not interested in living in the United States anymore, but I just don't know where I'm going to be. Serbia will always be a place that will be part of me, and I will always be here, but I just don't know. That's always a question that's troubled me. I just feel like I don't fit in anywhere, you know? I really liked living in Mexico, but it wasn't for me. I love living here, uh, but I just don't know, you know? 
It's a tough question for me. I just always wonder that. I think I'm a gypsy, maybe, because I don't know where I want to go and what I want to do, and that's a troubling thing. Most people want to be close to their family and everything they've known. I love my family, but I just don't want to live there. I don't like Illinois. The place where I was born is just, blah. Just a, probably one of the worst places that people have this small mentality, this hillbilly type mentality of being against everybody that's different and don't like it, you know. So I don't know. Ooh, don't ask me that question. Name one Serbian you don't like. Oh, there's quite a few Serbians probably that I don't like. Um... <clears throat> I'm not going to say politicians because I don't want to... Arkan, the leader of this paramilitary group uh, that went into Bosnia and they committed a lot of crimes. The leader of the Tiger, Tigers, uh, they went in and, and stole things and hurt people and stuff. I don't like them. I don't like him. Uh, he was He's married to Setsa. He was married. He's no longer living. Uh, but I don't like him. Uh, who else? I'll name two. Oh, I don't like that guy that was recently raped that, that or murdered that little Serbian girl and in, in, put her in Shabbat's, or where was it, in whatever. Remember that guy that abducted that little girl and killed her and hit her? I hate him. I wish he would die. Number five, would you fight for Serbia in a war? Would I fight for Serbia in a war? Yes, I would fight for Serbia in a war. Serbian people are my people. Uh, I am a guy who chose to be Serbian. I'm a volunteer, voluntary Serb, okay? I didn't, I wasn't born with Serbian blood, Slavic blood in me, but I chose to be it because I love the people. I love their mentality. Their, I, I know their hearts. I know they're some of the biggest hearts and most wonderful people. So yes, I would fight for Serbia. If someone came here to attack Serbia and, and hurt my brothers and sisters here, yes, I would fight back against them. Okay, next question. One thing you don't like about your country one thing I don't like about my country, one thing I don't like about my country is the current choice for president. <laughs> and the other thing I don't like, I think one of the worst things about my country is interventionism. We go around the world to other countries and we force our way of life, our beliefs um, on them. I think it's terrible. We have military bases all over the planet. But nobody else can do that close to the United States. We don't allow it, but we can do it to every other country. I hate that. I think it's terrible. I think it's bullshit. We're no better than any of these other countries. The other problem, I think, is nuclear weapons. We are uh, a hypocrite. We, we, we can have nuclear weapons. We can tell Israel, you can have nuclear weapons, but Iran, you can't. North Korea, you can't. These other countries can. We, how, who are we to dictate who can have them and who can't? I think it's ridiculous. Pisses me off. Man, this video is raising my blood pressure, isn't it? One thing you can do better than others. <sighs> I'm fat, I'm chubby, I'm overweight, I've got grayish hair. I can't do much of anything better than anybody else. Oh, I know what I can do. I can name all the presidents of the United States really quickly, and most people can't. I know every single president, I can say them very quickly. I can say them faster than this, but I'm not going to because you won't be able to understand them. Here we go. Washington, Adams, Jefferson, Madison, Monroe, Adams, Jackson, Van Buren, Harrison, Taylor, Polk, Taylor, Fillmore, Pierce, Buchanan, Lincoln, Johnson, Grant, Hayes, Garfield, Arthur, Cleveland, Harrison, Cleveland, McKinley, Roosevelt, Taft, Wilson, Harding, Coolidge, Hoover, Roosevelt, Truman, Eisenhower, Kennedy, Johnson, Nixon, Ford, Carter, Reagan, Bush, Clinton, Bush, Obama, Stein. Like who I threw in there at the end, Jill Stein. Aqua Bog, Scary story about Serbia. A scary story about Serbia? Maybe a scary story for me. Uh, the scariest thing that maybe happened to me here in Serbia, it's when I lived in a place called Kotej. If you look at Belgrade, Kotej is down over here, across Panchevacki, most over by Karabumba, over, over in there. There's a night bus that goes down there. That's what I liked about living in Kotej. That's about the only thing. Uh, the night bus, I went home one night, two in the morning, dark outside, uh, of course, it's two in the morning, I get off the bus, I'm a little bit intoxicated, I have to walk ten minutes to my house through this park, the park had a lit pathway, 
and I saw this group of young kids, tall young kids, and I, that always scares me in the middle of the night, because a lot of times there's, they're intoxicated, they're, they say things, so I was like, oh my God, I hope they don't speak to me, I hope they don't speak to me, I hope they don't speak. I'm walking down this path, I heard one of them say, blah, 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 and I was like, fuck. I just keep walking, two of them run over, and then all of them come over, and I said, is vinite nera zumum nishta jasam stranats, and then they said, oh, doc, let's stay, oh, doc, let's see, whatever. And I said, yeah, some Americanets. Oh, Americanets, Ashton, in Cottage. I said, I live here. Je vous cottage. Do you say cottage? I don't know. I said, I live here. And Why would you live here? Blah, 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 blah. And then one of them said, hey, are you Charles, the guy from YouTube that was on TV and everything? I said, yeah, that's me. I didn't know you was in cottage. The, then they finally said, we talked for a little bit. He told all of them who I was. And then finally one of them said, uh, the reason we came over here was to kick your fucking ass because I was wearing a black and white striped shirt. Black and white represents Partizan. Partizan and Servana Zvezda are the two biggest football clubs here. And they have a lot of these, the derby. They don't like each other. Their fans don't like each other. Their teams don't like each other. Uh, and so I was wearing Partizan colors. It wasn't a Partizan shirt. It was just black and white. And, and there, the kid said, never wear black and white in Kotej. Kotej is Servana Zvezda hood. Everything in Kotej is Servana Zvezda red and white, you know. So that was kind of funny. Scary at the time. I was really scared. Number nine, do you like Serbians better than Americans? Brate moi. I love Serbian people with all my heart. And I'm an American, so I love American people. I think American people are very good people, kind people. The vast majority of American people are wonderful people. That's where I came from, and I'm a wonderful man. Uh, I will say this, I have a hundred times more Serbian friends than I do American friends anymore. Most of my American friends, we've gone our separate ways. I haven't lived in the USA in six years. Six and a half years, because I lived in Mexico for a year and a half, and I've been here for about five. So most people I don't even stay in touch with anymore, you know. Uh, my parents and a few close friends I do stay in touch with. And I'm going to start, after my friend passed away, I'm going to start reaching out because I'll feel bad if somebody else passes away. But I love Serbian people. <laughs> Sing part of a Serbian song. <laughs> okay. My favorite. Zarya, koji sam uvek žena najlepše, kod god sam teo imao. Zar ja da i dan danas volim najviše? There you go. Another one. I pijan i trezan, za tebi sam vezan. There's my little bit of Serbian singing. And tamo daleko, daleko od mora. Tamo je sela moje, tamo je Serbija. There you go. Three. Who is your favorite Serbian hero? My favorite Serbian hero. There's a few. Serbia's got some very brave folks. But you know a story, since you're from Niš, somebody I really respected and I love the story was uh, Kako Sezove. Stefan, Stefan Sinjelic was his name. And he, in like the early 1800s, 1803, 1804, sometime like that, there was something called the Battle of Chegar. The Battle of Chegar was on a hill down from Niš. And Stephen Sinjelic, he's the one, he was a brave son of a bitch. They was on a hill battling the Turks. The Turks, there was tons and tons of Turks, way more Turks than Serbian soldiers. The Serbians were getting destroyed. This group of Turks came up through all these bar these uh, these uh, things you dig, trenches. And he had buried lots of gunpowder and stuff all over this hill. The Turks were approaching, they're all over the place. He shoots a bullet into this, blows up the entire hill, kills himself, kills the Serbians, and kills like four times the amount of Turks than Serbians. So it was a big, big blow to the Turkish forces, and that's what caused the Turks to build this big tower out of 900 and some Serbian skulls, uh, because they wanted to fear the Serbia, uh, put fear into the Serbian people for this uprising against them. So I thought Stefan Sinjelic, take my hat off to you, dear sir. Bow to you, dear sir. Hero. Last question. Thing you hate about living in Serbia. The thing I hate about living in Serbia. Well, there's a few things here. I wouldn't say I hate. There's things I don't like. Some of the things I don't like, I've mentioned before, smoking in, in public, cigarette smoking in a restaurant, I don't like that. 
um, the long lines at the post office. Here, people don't do a lot of online bill pay, online things. So anytime you go to the post office, there's a massive line. It happens in the USA too, but here the lines are massive, okay? Also, the other thing I don't like about here is everybody honks the horn. Serbians are patient in line at a post office, but you get them behind the wheel of a car, it's constant. Uh, 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 uh. The other thing I don't like is walking after it's rained on the sidewalks in Serbia, because along the road there's always water and cars will fly by and the sidewalks are right by the wall, and it always gets you wet. I hate that. That's some of the things I hate about living here. Uh, anyway, that's it, my friend. I'm done with your questions. Don't ask me anymore, brother. That's it, Svima. Don't be genuine.